So just a real quick little video here on uh, what I do when I get a pipe, uh, an estate pipe. How I clean it up and whatnot. And this will be a little redux on uh, the rubber softy bits. And this one will be a challenge because it's so wide. But uh, so I got this pipe on eBay. Uh, Ten bucks. I love it. Vintage, I'm going to say 50s, might be 1960s. Uh, it's a Tom Howard. There are some fills. You know, just leave the damn pits. You know what I'm saying? It gives it character. But And the, the fill always turns out to be this kind of pink little sore. And I don't know. But that's the way it is. But some of this grain is spectacular. I mean, so tight. Wow. Beautiful. But obviously a well-used pipe, lots of cake in there. Excessive cake. And something happened here, you know, it got dropped or whatever. And so this really uh, precision banding along here has been chipped. Well, you know what? I don't really mind that. Um, there's a story behind that. Might have happened when the guy was working on his car and, you know, he knocked the pipe against the hood of his 49 Merc and down it dropped and chipped a little bit and it was like, God damn it! Ah. But yeah, who knows what the story is. It could be, uh, it's probably mundane, but uh, it's kind of like the fabric that goes around this pipe, you know what I mean? So, anyway, cool. Um, the bit's a little oxidized. Um, I do not have a buffing wheel, so uh, the bit is one of my weaker uh, elements, if you will. And I'm not that particular, <clears throat> to tell you the truth. There's a little gunge there. I have a Swiss Army knife here. This is the Scout model that has the aluminum sides and the double thick blades. The tip of this one got busted off. I don't remember how. I'm sure it was traumatic when it happened, and it was something I should not have been doing when I did it, <laughs> but uh, but it was good. I kind of filed that off and smoothed it out, and so now it makes this kind of rounded blade that is awesome for reaming out pipe bowls, so this has kind of become my, I'm going to just get rid of some of that gunge, and it's kind of gungy, rum, use whatever you want. If I could use gasoline, I probably would. But, I mean, this has virtually no taste. Modern rum is just crap. You know, and it's just cheap. But anyway, I just run a pipe cleaner. Get it good and moist in there with rum. Something alcoholic. And it's not to sanitize it. I mean, come on. <clears throat> it's not like pariahs from a, a leprosy camp have been smoking this pipe. You know, I mean, come on. So it kind of comes out kind of gungy, which is good. And it's because it's curved, you can't look through it to judge how clean it is. So you just got to kind of work it. But the bit's in good shape. You know, it's not bitten off. There aren't huge tooth marks. There's a little bit of tooth wear. But, uh, you know, it's good. So then I just kind of kind of work that around and get her in there. So anyway, that's the bit. And then we'll we'll use this uh, vinyl tubing. What's this called? This is called Wyatt's Black Vinyl Tubing. 5 8 by 1 half inch by 10 feet. 45 PSI. I think it's designed for like water supply to a refrigerator freezer or something like that. Modern refrigerators unlike mine which is a 1938 coil on top, uh, have have uh, water, you know, chilled water and all the little gigas. So, anyway, I think that's what that's for. It's cheap. It's like less than five bucks, as I remember, for a 10-foot length and 10 feet will last of your lifetime. They also make it in <clears throat> half inch by three-eighths by 10 feet. And so, uh, I just, I have both. And this is good for smaller bits. This is good for bigger bits. Okay. So, let's see. Let's let that soak a little more with some rum. 
I'm gonna close the ROM up. <laughs> you no. Know, wouldn't do that. This is a serious video. There it is. Okay. Good. So let's just let that soak there for a minute. Now let's cut our tubing. And what we'll do is we just kind of eyeball it. Eyeball is good. Okay. And I just lay it down there. And I just kind of cut through it. It's pliable. Let's see. A sharper knife would probably be better, but, you know. You use what you have. This stuff's tough. It definitely is tough. And that's what you want to resist your your massive bite. Now this might be a little too thick for some guys. Now what I do with this is I had a <coughs> kettle over here of hot water. Pour it in a coffee cup. Coffee cup. Slip it in there. And just let it soften up in the hot water. In the meantime, this is a mess. Ugh. I'm not a cake guy. So, I just get in there. I like bigger, thicker bowl pipes, so, you know, it's not like this is a little delicate piece of wood here. And that rounded tip is awesome. Oh my god, such gunge. Whew. I don't know what you. I'm smoking probably aromatics. I think most guys smoke aromatics actually. Because they're smoking for the wife. <clears throat> or the girlfriend or the room. Not for themselves, which is sad. Okay. That's just looking pretty good. Now I don't go down right to the wood. I leave a little bit in there. And then I Oh, it is so blocked. You can't even blow through it. Oh my gosh. Okay, so that's where we get the drill and the five thirty seconds bit. Okay. Surgery. Gently. That you cannot even see through there is amazing to me. That is the worst that I have ever seen. And that pops out in the ball. My God. Smoking. Okay. So there we go. Don't go too far in. You, know, it's, you can just see the tip of the drill bit in the bowl. Nice. Okay. Ooh. Yes. Light. Let there be light at the end of the tunnel. Alright. The top of the bowl is not bad. That's a not bad, I mean, other than the chips. Which probably eliminated this for a lot of guys. But for me, you know, it's not so bad. Now, as far as some of this oxidation, uh, I usually just use, like, a Scotch-Brite pad. And I have tried the 600 grit sandpaper and stuff, and I don't know, I just don't care that much, to tell you the truth. I mean, if it's horribly oxidized, yeah, I'll do something. But I'm just not... It's not a big deal for me. Okay, so now let's fish out our bit. Let's pull the cleaner out, kind of gungy. Okay, that line nice and soft. I get it wet. Spit on that some bitch, and just slide it right on there. I mean, how hard is that? It isn't. And it is like a perfect fit. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Ooh la la. 
Okay, now, this actually is a pretty good fit. Sometimes they're not. So, so I have some beeswax here. This I got from a, at a farmer's market from a gun guy. I don't know, for a buck each or something. Nice, soft beeswax. He made it himself. So, just coat the tenon. And just slip her in there. Nice. Oh, nice. Okay. Now, if the pipe itself had to be cleaned up, you know, you could do that. Uh, it's just wood after all, varnished wood usually. Um, but there you go. To me, that is ready to smoke. A little whistling. Hmm. But, nice bit. You know, you can uh, definitely talk and chew and smoke. I like it. So this pipe is basically ready to go. Really nice vintage pipe. A few little flaws. I think it adds character. Ten bucks. Hard to beat the value. So there you go.